Hello and welcome to another unusual Japanese TCG unboxing. Today with DMM Games, box number 8 as far as I remember. There should be a number somewhere on the cards, I guess. Uh, this is called like Battle... No, not Battle Spirits, Battle Princess. Uh, I guess it's inspired or it's focused on a game, on I think an adult game in Japan, but... There's not much information about this box. I just saw some single cards and yeah, it turns out this set is, it's probably the spiciest or the degenerates <laughs> or the most degenerate from all DMM games. Uh, now they don't release new sets and they, I think the same manufacturer or producer now uh, produces the divine Divine Heart? What was it? Divine... something with Divine. Uh, I will probably put the, the name in the description if I remember it again, but yeah, they are doing now a new TCG line, which I'm not a fan of. The, the new sets are very small, don't have a lot of hits, and they are still quite loot, but a lot of the artworks are showing very young-looking characters, and that's something I'm not a fan of, that's why I... yeah won't buy boxes and of course the boxes are expensive too and yeah not really a big fan same with uh, lies maybe you have seen some of my unboxings of lies overture uh, sometimes the boxes uh, are yeah a little bit questionable like especially the high hits often show loot characters which is not bad in general but it's just bad when the characters look very young I hope this is not the case for this release. Uh, if there is like something very weird, I will probably cut it out. So there might be a cut somewhere if it's too bad, but it should be all censored. So yeah, but I I don't know <laughs> I don't know anything about the characters. If you if you know the game, like I I did a, a quick search for for the game, but I couldn't find a lot for the Battle Princess. Not really. But yeah, there's probably like a foil card in every pack. This is uh, just a rare foil. I do like the foiling. I, I repeat myself probably. But this is like a... Yeah, like a little bit like the secret rare foiling from Yu-Gi-Oh! I would say with the little dots or pixel. But overall, there is like a square pattern in the foil. And I do not like this. But yeah, cards are, are censored, but I guess it's not really like a, a game or like a TCG that you take to your local game store and you're like sitting next to, uh, to the kids playing Pokemon and you're taking out your waifu playmat and your degenerate hentai cards prob oh my god oh my oh my god now I'm instantly sweating I'm getting wet here and I'm not the only one this is a numbered card this is a secret rare it's numbered from 58 to 6 63 oh I hope I'm still recording Okay, this, I wasn't prepared for this. Don't have, <laughs> I don't even have sleeves. I have just sorted my, my desk after the last live stream. I don't even have sleeves. <laughs> oh man, this is embarrassing. It's a numbered card. Oh, and the characters are not looking like young. I, I love that. I think there are... There should be two secret rares. I'm not not really sure. I think from past releases there were always two secret rares numbered. Oh, this is crazy. This is and yeah, good thing is I, I do have a second box. I will probably not open it on uh live. Like not really comfortable. Same with Lies Over 2. I do have a few more more packs from the last release in oh back in March 
or April. I think it was April. I did pre-order two boxes. I wasn't able to cancel my pre-order, even if I, I wanted. But yeah, I, I did re open and record one box for YouTube and it's already online. But this, the second card, uh, yeah, and the second box is, uh, is still sealed. Uh, I will probably record it for the YouTube channel members. Like, yeah, big shout out to, uh, to the channel members and to the people who donate to my channel through uh, Super Chats and during the live streams. Like, uh, recently I got my first payment from, from YouTube, like my first magical uh, internet money, which I, of course, put in more cards since I cannot deal with money. And uh, yeah, but this would have not been possible uh, without the help of the channel members and and the donations since like uh, since I've switched content to uh, official TCGs and Vcross and stuff m m my views are declining uh, similar to my mental health so there is a correlation maybe but yeah let's say it like Google AdSense like the, the money from advertising is nothing <laughs> And yeah, most the most support I get, or like in monetary ways, is through the channel members and donations. So yeah, thank you very much uh, for the support. I I try to put out some extra content. As I said, I I do have already like some member exclusive videos for you, and yeah, I will try to to put out more extra content for for the supporters. So to make it more uh, special. So yeah, thank you very much. Just some some random thoughts. <laughs> so yeah, I I do like this set kind of so far. It's not not that uh, bad compared to, to lies. I do not like these. I don't know what's like event cards, command cards. I don't know. These are not character cards. I would think that they are like items or yeah spells but the this one especially this one this one is really cool <laughs> very cool way of uh, censoring it with a fan is it and very nice i yeah yoga is healthy she's probably doing yoga but uh, totally forgot what i wanted to say don't know don't know why, but uh, there was something in my mind and it just got wiped away. But I guess I'm not the only one. I, I do like this set. I'm happy that I, I bought two boxes of this set. Now, this has released already like two years ago, maybe. Like, I, I did pick it up uh, last year, but the, the release was, I think, two years ago. Oh, that's sad that the uh, the censoring is going into her face, but maybe she has like her squishy bags in her face too. But yeah, this is the censoring of her face. Is sad. Okay, back pain. Okay, yeah, she's like a archer. I wonder how she is able to like pull the the bow, like the string of the bow. I guess there are like some anatomy problems. There's something in the way. But yeah, okay, we get a few a few duplicates, I guess. Now the regular cards. Ah, this is not my thingy. Young character looking, and also the the style of her her eyes. I don't know. There's something about this character that I don't like. I do like these. Oh yeah, like these major looking characters <laughs> or tanned. Like yeah, tanned busty demon girl is probably the most searched thing on my Google uh, on my phone. I haven't said this. 
Uh, okay, we got another like maid character. Uh, what is this? This looks familiar from some places. Okay, this was another rare foil. We should get a certain number of like VR foils. Another rare. This is not even like that loot, I would say. For, for this box, this is not loot at all. She gives me some Raiden Shugun. I think Raiden Shugun from Genshin. I, I don't play Genshin. I, I did play a little bit, but got bored pretty fast. Oh yeah, now I remember what I wanted to say uh, and what I forgot. Uh, I don't think there are characters inspired by ancient Egypt in this one. I, I don't think there are in previous sets from, from other games or other DMM game boxes. They had Anubis or some other artworks with uh, Ankh symbols or yeah, Egyptian jewelry. I don't think this set has this. Okay, and not okay. This is a VR. Is there a big difference in the like foiling or stuff? Or to be honest, like from the first view, I don't really see like why is this one a VR and why is the left one a rare? Huh. Oh, but I, I do like the left. <laughs> the more I look at the left one, I um, the more I I do appreciate what I see. Yeah, again, the, the censoring on this one. Another VR. Now we are putting all the VRs back to back. I do like the, the heart symbols. They're not really like holographic in a cool way, like from V-Cross, the, the Nichi Sanji set had some awesome foiling. Maybe you have seen my unboxings uh, with like hearts in, in the background that changed the size. Like when you tilt the cards from a different angle and you look like the the hearts grow bigger or smaller. And I really like this. I really like this foiling and we see some more uh, yoga pose. Like the, the back looking dog pose. Something like this. I'm not into yoga. I heard it's healthy. It looks very healthy. Oh, that's that's cute. Oh, another nice art, just a rare. Not like super loot anything, but ah, oh, that's that's just really cute. There's a little bit of censoring going on with the hearts uh, between like. <laughs> Little bit of censoring, but that's a cute artwork. Uh, we got another like samurai. Where's my focus? Another okay, this is a super rare, not a VR, not a rare, super rare. I do like the flowers in the background and uh, the cloak. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of flowers and clothing, and yeah, I do myself own a lot of shirts and stuff with flower print on. And it's, it's not really like uh, manly, I guess, for most people, but I, I just love it. Still want to buy a kimono with flowers at one point. Okay, we got a duplicate. That's sad. But in general, I would say we don't have a lot of duplicates. Super happy about the numbered card. It's a pull I didn't expect with. It's a nice loot artwork, not something super weird for, for my terms. Like for, for people watching this are probably like very disgusted and think what kind of degenerate appreciates this kind of uh, cardboard. But hello, it's me. Uh, yeah, but for I'm really happy for this one. And yeah, we pull nothing in my Force of Will pack. I still open these packs in case you're wondering for a Secret Rare Anubis card. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. For more unboxings, degenerate TCG style uh, 
subscribe and yeah for more secret content maybe join the membership if you can or if you want to support me with your hard-earned money and yeah see you in my next unboxing bye